It's hello morning. Count and say I think yeah, I've done this. Okay. Let's see how I did it. Count and say is a sequence of digit strings defined by the recursive formula. Um, okay, count say one is gives you one. Count say with an n is the way you would say say okay the digit string from uh, count and say n minus one, which is then converted into a different digit string. Okay, that's descriptive. To determine how you say a digit string, <laughs> split it into a middle number of groups so that each group is a continuous section of all, all the same character. Then for each group, say the number of characters. Then say the character. To convert the saying into a digit string, replace the counts. Um, replace the counts with the number and concatenate every saying. The conversion and digits, the saying and conversion of digit string. This. Um, gives you this two threes, three twos, one five, and one one. Okay, that makes sense. So is that how, is that what the output should be if I pass it into count and say? Well, okay. <laughs> count and say returns a string. Okay, but then what's the recursive relationship? Like you pass in the string and that's what it returns. Ah, so at some point, it's like def first search. So if you do, um, count five, then that means you need to pass four. That means you need to pass three and two, and then eventually get one. And you start going back up and they're like, All right, so there's one, one. <laughs> I oh, know when you get to one, it's a one, and then two. The, the function that get the the function the recursive call that received two uh, will call one, which it returns a one string, and then the two will count and say whatever is returned from the from the one from this call below and say like all right that's that's uh that's one there's one one there ah yes and then this one will be like all right there's two ones there And then this one be like, okay, there is one, two, and one, one. And this one will be like, there's one, one, and there's one, two, and there's two ones. So four is one, two, one, one. Exactly right. So all you have to do is have a base case if n is equal to one, then return um, one. Otherwise, 
um, string say is equal to count and say n minus one. Then I need to convert this, whatever this is, into this. Um, how do I do that? Well, I just need a while loop, I guess. Yep, a while loop will do. Start from zero. So also while i is less than uh, say dot size. I want to go through and be like int j is equal to zero while and int in char c current is equal to say at i and while j is equal to current no while say at j is equal to current then increment j then if I then I can do j minus i to get the length of that and also I could say all i is less all j is less than say the size and this um, if j is Minus i, um, convert that to a string. So like, to string. Um, and I want to append that to. Well, it gives me a num. It gives me a char, right? So that, that's a number. So if I add a to that, I could do int result result dot push back this char. Um, but I want it to be zero indexed length. Wait a sec. It should be zero. Yeah. Uh, zero plus that. And then result to push back whatever the current is. And then return result. It should be a string. All right, let's try two. Please be one one. Oh, um, okay. And that's because I'm not incrementing I. <laughs> uh, oh, wait a sec. I can make it more efficient. That's like n squared. If I make I is equal to J, that'll also work. All right, let's do three. So that should be two, one. Yep. Yeah. And let's do four. You kidding? Oh. 
That should be I. Oops. There we go. Um, and also five. And what's the highest input here? 30. Oh, beautiful. Thanks for watching and uh, subscribe. See you next time.